Hey guys, I never used the cubic formula in school, so I kind of wanted to play around with it a little bit. The quadratic formula is pretty common. We use it for a degree two polynomial. And since it's degree two, that means there are two solutions. And because of this plus minus right here, we're given both solutions. In a cubic, it's degree three. There are going to be three solutions. But after we do all this work, we're only ever going to get one of them. Which one would this give us? So this is a cubic equation all factored out, and this would have the solutions one, two, or three. So if I were to plug this into the cubic formula, which one would it give me, one, two, or three? And I don't know the answer. First, before we can plug it in, we gotta write it in this format. I'm gonna multiply these two to get this right here, and then we're just gonna bring this stuff down. And then we'll combine like terms, so the negative two x minus x is negative three x. Then we're gonna multiply this times this, that's gonna give us all six of these terms. And then we can combine like terms and we get this right here. So these two equations are the exact same. We know that the solutions to this are either one, two, or three. So when we do the cubic formula, which one is it gonna give us, one, two, or three? If you don't mind, pause really quick and write your guess down in the comments. I'm kind of curious what the distribution of guesses is gonna be. I honestly don't know what it's gonna be, so this is kind of a fun video. I'll give you a chance to comment really quick and then I'll tell you my guess. I'm gonna go with one. I don't know why, I don't have a logical reason for this, but one is the number I'm gonna go with. So let's see what happens. The first thing I notice inside of these red boxes is the exact same expression. So if we figure that out, we can just do a bunch of substitution. In the place of these A's, we can plug in one. In the place of both of these B's, we can plug in negative six. And then for this C, we can plug in positive 11. And for this D, we can plug in negative six. Multiplying by one isn't gonna do anything, so those can vanish. And then this six on top and bottom can cancel each other out. And then for this middle one, the six divided by two is equal to three. And then for the third one, negative six cubed is negative 216. And now both of these double negatives will become pluses. And let's smush this stuff together. And 216 divided by 27 is eight. Oh no, do you see what I see? Eight plus three is gonna be 11, and negative 11 plus 11 is zero. I don't know if this is good news or bad news. All of these red boxes are gonna become zero. Good news is it'll make it easier, but I'm kind of disappointed I want it to be this really crazy equation we could work through. But as it is right now, all of this stuff is gonna vanish. So we can smush everything together again and bring this up here. Oh no, do you see what I see again? This negative inside the cube root, it can just be brought out. And now we have something else kind of easy. The two blue boxes are identical. There is no difference. So we're doing this thing minus this identical thing. They're also going to vanish. So all we have left is x is equal to negative b over 3a. In the place of the b, we can plug in negative 6. And in the place of the a, we can plug in 1. 1 isn't doing anything. The negative times negative cancel each other out. And the 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2. And that answers our question. x equals 2 is the real solution that the cubic formula gave us. Let's put a box around it. I'm very curious to see how many people guess that. And while we're at it, let's find the 1 and the 3. So we're gonna copy down our polynomial and then we're gonna divide by x minus two since x minus two is the corresponding factor for the solution x equals two. I'm not gonna go through all the steps right now, but this is what the polynomial long division would look like. If you wanna see a video on just polynomial long division, I'll put a link in the description. From here, we can see the whole polynomial divided by this factor gives us this other polynomial. It's this other polynomial that we're interested in and we can now use the quadratic formula. In the place of both of these a's, we can plug in one. In the place of the b's, we can plug in negative four. In the place of the c, we can plug in three. Negative negative four is positive four. Negative four squared is 16, and four times one times three is 12. 16 minus 12 is equal to four, and square root of four is equal to two. And then on bottom, two times one is two. We can smush everything together, and this will give us two answers. One answer for the plus, and one answer for the minus. Four plus two is six, divided by two is three, and four minus two is two, divided by two is one. And this is how we find the three and the one. And we can move them up here with their friend. In conclusion, the cubic formula could only give us one real solution. It gave us the two. How exciting. 